Hi Scorpio, welcome to your weekly love readings. These will be from the 3rd to the 7th of February. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. These are general love readings, so because they're not personal readings, they won't resonate with everyone every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit that notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Three of Wands in reverse. So, um, okay, so you there may be some regret over some um, plans that have fallen through or travel plans that haven't been made very well. Um, there may be some regret over a, a lack of coming together, like a, a reconciliation or meeting up that didn't happen. So that's what's coming out in the pre-shuffle. If that's you, you know what I'm talking about. We'll see if it comes out in the main read. All right, love messages, please. Scorpio. Scorpio. Third to the seventh. Come on, cards. They were so warm a moment ago. Now they've just they've gone a bit cool. All right, here we go. Gotcha. Ooh, I told ya. Love it. Ace of Cups. That's a good one to start with. We like it. Okay. Um, page of Wands. I always read that as someone being childish with their communication and sometimes withholding communication as like a bit of a power play um, or, or kind of not telling you the right thing because they think it gives them the upper hand. Like, I don't know, like maybe um, an example would be telling you that they don't like you or they don't want to meet up with you when really they do because it's they think it gives them more power somehow. It's a bit of a power play, that one, when it's in reverse. And that's why I say it's childish because it's like, who needs to do that? No one. All right, Scorpio. You do have the Nine of Cups here, though. Oh, this is very up and down, isn't it? Followed by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So I do think there is, this offer is coming together, but this person keeps delaying it. There's definitely uh, feelings involved. Okay. There's definitely feelings going on here because you've got the Ace of Cups. So there is an opportunity here. But for some reason, they've got a messed up head. I don't know why. We'll clarify and find out some more information. I do think that the love offer is on the table, but it's, they're just, they're more delayed. Like that's already a slow card. When it's in reverse, you know, it can mean stop or, or even further delays. In this instance, I'm reading it as further delays. So um, it's putting a real strain on you. You've got the ten of uh, ten of um, wands here, where you just—it's all getting a bit much. I feel like you may even give up because it's like, why am I putting up with this crap? Um, and maybe that's why this reading is coming to you. All right, let's go with. Let's talk about this person's messy head. What's the deal with the uh, nine of pentacles in reverse, please? Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, their head's a mess. You can feel it. It's like a big jumble. I don't like it. Oh, because they're an overthinker. They're overthinking everything and catastrophizing and going, no, but what if, what if the sky turns purple? Anything else on the um, Pentacle, Knight of Pentacle in reverse? It's like they are always thinking of the worst possible thing that can possibly happen. <laughs> I think that they've actually experienced heavy loneliness in the past or they've been ghosted or they have just generally been locked out by whoever they've been in with in the past. And I feel like maybe they've only just gotten over that. Like maybe they've only just dealt with that and, you know, um, releasing that feeling. Um, and that 
is possibly why they're sitting there thinking, what if this happens to me again? They don't feel that you're doing this because this is in the reverse. If they thought that you were doing it, they will be thinking about how much you are blocking them out. This is something that's happened to them in the past that they think back to because they're dealing, they're, they're okay with it now, like they're not experiencing it now, but it's in their fears now. And this is the overthinking. They, I think it really damaged them to be shut out like that. Like it, they felt probably quite abandoned. What's the page of Wands in Reverse? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. Okay. So they're trying to put themselves first. They're getting their ego is in the way. They're trying to be all, I'm too cool for school. I don't need anyone. I've got myself. You know, it's this egotistical singledom um which very rarely is true and it turns out they're lying to themselves so they think that they want to be you know a lifetime bachelor or bachelorette but they're actually lying to themselves with this ace of um uh, swords in reverse um interesting so they're trying to con themselves, basically. They're trying to convince themselves that this is the wrong thing. And they're doing everything they can to convince themselves that this is not going to work or you're going to do the same thing to them that the past, that's been happened, that's happened to them in the past. Um, but, you know, you're confident. You're sitting here in your Nine of Cups going, okay. See how, like, he's just really chilled. He's like, whatevs, all this disaster is happening around him. And he's like, yeah. Okay, you do you. I'm okay. Um, because you've reached a really good level of um, self-esteem, self-confidence. You know that, yeah, it's nice to have them around, but you don't require them to be there. You're okay on your own too. But it's not this, I don't need anyone. It's, I'm actually confident and comfortable being on my own. I'm happy to have someone. But... I'm also okay if that doesn't work out. What's a ten of um, wands, please? Ten of wands. And this is why I think you could be walking away because you're like, you know what? This has got too heavy for me and I don't, you know, I don't need it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Hierophant in reverse and... Oh, uh, I nearly said hopes and dreams. And the star card in the upright. Absolutely. You're walking away because you're like, you know what? This isn't what I necessarily need in a relationship. And it's maybe not going to give me what I want in a relationship. I know what I want in a relationship. I'm clear on what my hopes, dreams, desires are. And so I'm only tolerating that. And it's I'm okay if you're not going to meet that. Um, but this is my standard. And that's what I'm going to stick to. So it's definitely on your mind whether it's worth all this drama. It is a bit of drama. It is a bit of game playing. They're playing mind games, but they're not doing it to be malicious. They're doing it as a protection mechanism. Now, does that make it any better? Probably not. Thoughts and feelings, please, for Scorpio. Yeah, you're like easy calm, easy go. Meh, I like you, but I don't need you. Ooh, okay. So there's definitely sexual tension, sexual chemistry. You may be in a sexual relationship with this person and that's, you know, on your mind. Um, hmm. uh, this is a bit weird <laughs> because... If you're sleeping with this person or like you are in a sexual relationship with this person and that won't be for all of you so if this doesn't resonate with you that's okay um, but part of you is like only staying because the sex is really good so they might be quite a generous lover um, and that might be something that you're taking advantage of all power to you you know let's not let's not get jealous here if, it, if it's not you <laughs> um but yeah i think that that's kind of the reason that you've hung around for so long 
because the drama is getting annoying now. Like it's irritating. What are their thoughts and feelings? What are their thoughts and feelings? Other person's thoughts and feelings. Yeah, I think you've, you're very sexually attracted to them. Okay. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius potentially. What do we got? We've got Virgo, we've got Sagittarius, we've got Taurus, we've got um, Virgo Capricorn, Taurus. We have all signs on the table. Okay. So this is why they are behaving like they are. Like I said, they've only just kind of got back on track here. And they are desperately trying to hold on to that status quo, trying to hold on to their feelings so that they don't get unbalanced in their feelings, that they don't feel too much, that they don't um, want you too much, they don't want to get involved too much. So they're desperately trying to hold on to that control and controlling the balance, um, which is absolutely, <laughs> this is symptomatic of this. 100%. So to con keep the control, they have to act like they don't care. They have to tell themselves that they don't need anyone, that they want to be single, that, you know, blah, 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 blah. They need to convince themselves that this is just going to happen again because that's how they are actually holding on to control the balance. Um, but they're actually not. It just means it's swinging the other way and they're deceiving themselves. All right. But that's their battle, not yours, yeah? Okay. Uh, what's the most likely outcome here for Scorpio? Most likely outcome for Scorpio, please. Oh, Scorpio, interesting. Okay. So I think that you are... Um, there's definitely a lot of love, like um, gesture. Maybe not love offer, but your behaviour will be loving and caring and patient and kind and all those sorts of things. Um, and that may actually move things in the right direction with the with the um, the wheel of fortune there. I feel like that may turn things into your favor. Yeah, okay, three of pentacles. So it looks like you're gonna possibly actually get on the same page. Um, we're taking two, we're taking two, okay. All right, so it does look like you're going to get on the same page, but look, this person is still highly stressed. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, uh, sorry, the Queen of Cups with the um, Wheel of Fortune over this side and the King of Wands here, uh, clarified by the Four of Swords. Um, I don't know why I'm struggling with the suits today, but anyway. Um, so, look, I feel like they are going to make an effort. See how both king and queen are facing the three of pentacles here. This is like they've both got their eyes on the fact that they want to work together. They want to collaborate. They want to come together as a team. They want to find the same goals and build on the same future and, you know, all that sort of stuff. So this is a building card. Um, so I do think that they want this. I feel like they're going to start to action this because this is a wand. So they're probably going to start to take action. You may be dealing with a fire sign. Um, but behind the scenes, it's really going to push them. Um, and this, look, this is one of those cards that can be read either way. Either they're going to release their anxiety and um, kind of start to accept that, okay, well, maybe this is different to the past, or it's going to set them into overdrive and they're going to reach their breaking point. And either way, it's going to force a result. Um, but that's kind of where you're heading. I really like the fact that the two of them are looking at, you know, the same card here. I think that that's very symbolic. Um, and I really like the fact that you, you've you got the Wheel of Fortune on your side. So it's almost like whatever you do, you can't really put a foot wrong, okay? As long as you've got kindness in your heart over here. Let's do a advice for Scorpio. Advice for Scorpio. Yeah, kindness in your heart, Scorpio. Now, these are general readings, so the energies can be reversed. 
Um, if you're picking that up, that's okay. Look, switch it around however you need. They can be those energies can sometimes be interchangeable. Um, and definitely queens and kings can change sexes. I read them as they are on the card. So don't get hung up on the sex or gender at all. Not an issue. Okay, Ace of Wands. Mm. So it's kind of indicating there may it may stall here. Okay, that's interesting. I think that this might be the driver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll take one more, please, for advice. Oh, okay, yeah. I actually think that um, it's almost like there has to be some hurt here to get this king looking at the three of pentacles. There is regret here. It's it's. I feel like it's actually, I don't want to say this, but I feel like it's going to get worse before it gets better. I think it's going to stall and that you know it's like the opportunity the spark is dying um because of the like the stress and the drama but that's causing a bit of a loss feeling a bit of regret but i feel like that's them it's like it's almost like they'll regret not taking the opportunity or you'll regret taking not taking the opportunity um But it's like you've given everything you can. You're going to give it everything you can. And that's what you should do. Um, I'm not sure that they're actually going to get over their, their pain. So I think you should probably just stay a little bit guarded. Um, I, I, sadly, I think that this is saying, you know, you're going to give it everything you can. Don't do that at your own expense. Like don't put your own... I want to say life on the line. Your life is obviously not on the line, but don't sacrifice yourself to give too much to this person um, because that's not actually what's going to get them across the line. They need to get there on their own. If you keep fueling them and feeding them and pandering to them, they're never going to get there. Um, it's almost like they need the distance to go, oh, I might be about to lose this. Not in game playing way, but in a space, like give them space to think and space to see this is what it looks like without my investment. Um, because if you're constantly investing, you're the one that's going to get hurt. It's got to be equal investment here. Let's do Romance Angel. Yeah, I feel like this really could go either way. You both want it, but... I just don't know if this person is mentally stable enough to actually do what they need to do at this point. They may, this may change in the future. Like this is a weekly reading. Let's not forget that. Uh, but yeah, I, this could really go either way. I'm really encouraged by this wanting to look in the same direction though. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday together. I might take one more for the other person, please. One more for the other person. So, I don't know, if you can get some holidays with this person or a staycation, like a weekend away, um, that might be a tipping point. Calling your soulmate. Okay, so I suspect that there is a soulmate connection here, which would explain that separation is on the bottom. So, I, do, I don't know why I feel like there's going to be a very brief separation. And when I say brief, I'm talking like a week. Um, before it all kind of comes undone and, you know, someone's running back. I think it will be them. Um, but, yeah, there's soulmate connection here. I think maybe getting away from things might be helpful, but that's up to you guys. Okay, Scorpio, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I read all of the comments. Please leave a comment. I love seeing your comments. It's how I communicate with you guys. And I'll see you back here for the weekend reads. Talk to you soon. Bye.